Hey guys, welcome back to Build Something Cool. Behind me, you can see the big pyramid, so you know I'm actually in Las Vegas. Come on in, let's see who we're gonna work with today. There he is, Bill. Justin. What's up, man? Okay, we're in Justin's shop. Justin, what's the name of your channel and tell us about it. Fabrication series, basically teach welding fabrication, a lot of uh, automotive performance fab and welding related stuff. We have Alpha, the adventure van that we're gonna put some, uh, well, we were going to put on rock rails. I think we need to do some thinking. But now we kind of changed the Nerf bars, wouldn't you say? Yeah, sort of, but I mean, they're, they're heavy enough to bounce off a rock. So we're gonna start with aluminum, but I wanna keep uh, Alpha as light as possible. Well, I found out in Las Vegas, aluminum is just not, what would we say, plentiful. plentiful. Yeah. So we switched to chromoly, and we've got some great stuff. So we're going to bring you along for the adventure. But you can see how we have a really big flange here we can bolt to. It's a propane tank that we have to work around. Last of these blocker panels are... Oh gosh, they are a little wimpy, aren't they? I didn't look at that. I was thinking it was more like it is here. Yeah, bend that with a pair of pliers. But here's where I was talking about also on the frame where its relationship to the height of the body is. Well, so you know how sometimes you have an idea and it doesn't work. We have to drop down, boy, about four inches <laughs> to tie into the frame. I don't know, I think I gotta think more. This is the way you do it. You get a whole bunch of beer and drink it as fast as possible. And the stupidest idea that you come up with is gonna be the winner. Then you're not overthinking, you're just like, this is all we need to do. <laughs> And as soon as you sober up, try to remember it, and then build it. Okay, let's go back inside. It's not really doing much. Okay, much so we'll just scrap this idea. Yeah. I cleared the schedule for the day. <laughs> let's see what they have for steel. It's too heavy. And you think of 16 feet of that. It'll be thinner and just strong. Unless you yeah. want to do something else. So let's say we're in the $500 range. That ain't bad for Romali. You get the same structural benefit. That part, though, I mean, it depends on how you want to how you want to design it. Blanks. We're in a completely different design mode than I would be in. I can't be a control freak. I will teach you how to be a control freak. First we set it up here. When we look at it, you say, okay, cool. And then we say, do that. And I say, all right, I'll get it done. You chop this one down the length real quick so we can kind of set it up in there. And then you can decide how far out you want it to stick out. Literally just fill in the blanks. You can always take metal away, but you can't necessarily put it back on. Much past, like, starting about right here would be okay. That's some very scientific measuring right there. Does that look vertical to you? As far as connecting two of them, we can run just straight tubes across. We can do 45. Then we can put a piece of tread plate or something there. Five inches on silver. I can go drop it like right now. What's the software you're gonna draw it up then? Oh, this is master cam. Precision tube laser of Las Vegas. We're gonna save so much time having them cut out these parts.
super quick programming on the part. Got his uh, lead in, lead out on the inside there. That's like professional work. Something in the way up here. Yeah. Body belt. I should have just cut one. And then, uh, <laughs> test no, it. no, no, we can't do that. <laughs> Too much logic in that. So what we'll do is just notch these out. this whole thing or we can just uh, attach uh, a piece of steel that's dimple dyed just on the edge of the, of the, the rail here. We have to take it off the truck. <laughs> I, I can weld it off. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of good at this, right? I'm, I, I just saw a video on YouTube on how to weld. I, I think I can I think I can, I can do this now. Probably like 10 inches long to keep it clean and swim. So it's time to head over to the plant. I think it's too tall. I cut this off and just weld it flat. I totally forgot about the sides. It just needs to be bright. Justin, I think it's a great build. It was great to meet you. And if you guys want to learn about welding and fab stuff, check out his channel. But if you actually want to get hands on, you also have a welding class? Yeah, we teach class six days a week. Big six. weld, everything from tube, aluminum, steel, stainless steel. Also, he's in Las Vegas. If you want to come and uh, weld, gamble, this is going to be the place. Great thing about Las Vegas, there's always a flight here and they're cheap. So take advantage of it. All right, guys, till next time, go out in your shop, build something cool. Thanks. Hey guys, before you go, I got a question for you. Do you like to see the builds on this van? I've got a couple more projects over the next year. I've got a front bumper, a rear bumper. Both of them have very, very unique design problems. And I also want to do a new high left jack, a completely new design that is kind of really going to revolutionize high jacks because it's going to be smaller, lighter, better capacity, and the most important, it's going to be safe. 
So leave down in the comments if you want to see more stuff on the build of this van.